Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Aspire 7 A715 series computer. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. So you have these four screws along the bottom edge of my screen here, these two near the top on the left, these three on the right hand side, these two near the top middle, and then these two in the middle of the bottom case. So quite a lot of screws. After removing those screws, we're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool and go across the seam of the bottom case and pry it up from the rest of the computer. I say plastic pry tool because in this situation, metal's gonna scratch your case a lot more than plastic will. So I tend to go with a hard uh, plastic pry tool like a, a guitar pick. Um, but you're gonna start on one end, work your way down the side. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it right on the edge and be firm but slow. If you get stuck somewhere, leave it, go to the other side and go around in, in the other direction. So once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. So as a general computer repair side note, Whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with any tools or supplies to help you in your computer projects, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a list of a lot of the tools and supplies that I use in my shop. So before I do anything in a computer, I always remove or at least unplug my battery. A computer is safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. Your battery is right here towards the bottom and it's held in by these two screws, one on either side near the top corners and it plugs into the motherboard right there. So if you're looking to remove your battery, you would undo those two screws and then right here if you look at your plug, your white plug, there's a good size grip on either side. So you can put your fingernails or a pry tool in that grip and pull it out of that port. Um, as with any cables in a computer, we want to try to avoid pulling on the wires themselves when at all possible. We could damage the plugs. So we always wanna pull or manipulate the actual plugs themselves rather than pull on the wires. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. So here's your CMOS battery here towards the left of my screen above the speaker. It's held in by double-sided tape and it plugs into the motherboard right here. So I will have a link above as well as below in the description. It'll have a list of all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer. And I will try to have a CMOS battery option in there for those of you that are looking for a replacement. To replace this, you would simply uh, pop that right up and off of where it is. Again, it's just double-sided tape, so that comes off fairly easily. And to unplug it, uh, there's a grip on either side of that white plug. You can use your fingernails or you can use a pry tool to jimmy that out. Don't pull on that uh, plug again, as, as sometimes you can pull the wire right out of the plug um, and damage it. If you're just here to reset BIOS and you're not looking to replace your CMOS battery, then you don't need to rip it up. You can leave it uh, stuck down there. All you would need to do is unplug this. Uh, leave it unplugged for maybe 15, 20 seconds, and that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS system settings. Uh, side note to that operation, in most cases, that will not reset your BIOS password. It just resets your BIOS system settings. I'll have more information on the BIOS password reset below in, in the description. Um, and I guess as a last side note to this kind of procedure, this is one of the troubleshooting steps to fixing a computer that's not turning on. Uh, so if that's why you're here, yes, this is one step you can do to troubleshoot that, but there are others. Um, I will have a video link above and below in the description. It'll be a tutorial in how to troubleshoot a laptop not turning on because that's just one of the things you can try. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. This is how you access your CMOS battery in this model computer. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just wanna keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, 
I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.